every critical function, all of those things are above the first floor. So the emergency department is on level two. You could bring a boat up to the emergency department as an example. Well, tomorrow, the new state-of-the-art University Medical Center will officially open to the public. Yeah, it's all part of the new medical corridor in Mid-City that's been in the works for years now. And that's where we find WDSU News reporter Kelsey Davis. And Kelsey, there's so much new technology in there, right? That's right, Randy. This is a hospital like none other I've seen in my lifetime. At, for, that's for sure. We've been all over the building. This is definitely not your typical hospital. Uh, we've been telling you all morning long, patient capacity is much higher here um, and a lot of other features, including uh, the one thing that's been sticking out to me all morning that Siona and I have been talking about is the artwork and just how this does not look like your typical hospital. And that continues here in the water uh, water courtyard. courtyard here that we've been, uh, we've been talking about all morning long. Um, talk about why you all have added this feature and other features that have just make this whole patient experience totally different. So everything about University Medical Center New Orleans is built for the patient experience. It's built to uh, to really foster a really healing environment for our patients. So we're standing in one of my favorite spaces. It's the water courtyard, and behind us is a, a piece by a glass sculptor Dale Chahuli. Uh, it was paid for by the Saints for Sin for Art program. Just beautiful piece, and around the the whole building you see sculpture, you see art on the walls. Just really, really. beautiful. Beautiful spaces for our patients. And, and aside from the art to make the patient experience nicer, in one of the rooms we saw earlier today was a, a couch. So there are couches in all of the patient rooms. And what, are, what is that for exactly? Explain that. Exactly. We have mostly private rooms here. Uh, we have 446 rooms. Most of them are single occupancy, and they're built so that uh, patients can have their support person with them. They have couches that fold out, so people can stay overnight with their loved ones. We have um, their storage in the in the in the in all the rooms for our family members. It's just really built so that uh, patients can be comfortable. They can have the people who can help support them with them during their, during their stay here. Thank you so much for being with us all morning long. I know you guys have a busy day tomorrow because that's when they start moving about 150 or so patients from the interim LSU hospital into this new facility. Again, that process starting at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and they will start uh, admitting those patients at 6 o'clock, and they will end admitting patients at the old facility at 6 o'clock in the morning. Of course, head over to our website if you can. There's a whole lot more information about this state of the art facility, and throughout the day, we'll be telling you more about uh, this building or these buildings, rather, as we prepare for its grand opening tomorrow morning. Reporting on your side, Kelsey Davis, back to you in the studio. And Kelsey, at full strength, the University Medical Center will employ more than 3,000 people. And speaking of employment, we've gotten a lot of calls from you this morning wanting to know how you can apply for a job at the new medical center. So you can apply online. We've put a link to the hospital's website on our website, WDSU.com.